take a moment and talk about compass calibration. Um, in your settings menu, under your safety tab, you have your uh, you have your flight assistance, your obstacle avoidance, your radar, your return to home altitude, your update home points, your max altitude, your max distance, your sensors, your battery information, find my drone, advanced safety settings, all of this amazing information. And uh, well, it can be overwhelming if you've never done this before, if you've never maybe dove into something like this, you may be looking at this at this moment saying, Yeah, I've been there. So, no need to worry. Keep it simple. YouTube it. That's what I do. There is a plethora, that's a lot, of information here. Uh, so much to get overwhelmed. Well, don't worry about all of it. Keep it simple. Scroll down to your compass under your sensor settings. You'll see two options here your compass normal and IMU normal. Don't ask me what normal means because I don't know. What I do know is these two systems are vital in your flight and the stability of your drone and need to be calibrated at a regular occasion. They say that your IMU should be calibrated anytime you go on a long trip or take your drone any sort of a distance away from, I guess, your home base. Um, IMU stands for your internal measurement unit. It helps the drone understand its position and direction of travel. There's probably going to be a bunch of people in the comment section that tell me that I do not understand what I'm talking about and go into all kinds of technical information about how that works and why that works. And that is all extremely great. All I know that is it works and that's what I need to know. I know how to calibrate it and that's good enough for me. Above IMU normal, you're gonna see your compass normal. Keep these things calibrated as much as you can. Your compass, I honestly calibrate before every flight. It's simple, it's quick, it can't hurt. It could only hurt by not doing it. If you get good at it, it literally takes 30 seconds pre-flight. I usually do have to set down the controller to do it. It literally consists of spinning your drone around in a circle one way, just like I just did, and then go a little extra until you see it register to then Spin your drone the other way. And a little bit extra. Why a little bit extra? Because for some reason, if you just come back to here, it doesn't seem to want to register the calibrate. But by that little extra dip, you will see a calibration successful and you'll be ready to fly. I also recommend calibrating your RC controller regularly. I find that sometimes my drone can noticeably tell that it is uh, having a bad day. Um, it will shudder a little bit, it will move a little bit, and this can be a result of you not waiting for a good GPS lock before you take off, which is crucial. Do not take off before you have a locked GPS. That's 12 plus satellites, locked GPS. It is very important. And it is how this thing knows where it's at, what it's doing and how it's doing it. So never take off before you have a locked GPS. With that being said, even with a locked GPS, I've found that there's been times that this thing has been a little, you know, for no good reason. Usually I can tell if something's off by literally doing a real simple forward, backwards, left, right, up, down, kind of, but mostly these. 
And if you know your settings and you're not messing with them and they're dialed in, you fly this thing, you'll know if it's if it's where it should be, if it's responding the way that it should be, and you'll know if it's not. I've had times where I have lightly, you know, gone with a left stick or a right stick and this thing so you know it's so far that I thought it was gonna fly away obviously the thing was having a bad day I wish I could tell you what was going on with it but I have no clue what I knew was something was off usually all it will take is me landing it possibly doing a calibration taking it inside or wherever and doing an IMU calibration if that doesn't fix it and usually the problem will be solved but I find it best to do a simple test before I get into whatever I'm gonna do to see if it's responding the way that I expect it to be responding or if it's you know stuck on stupid that day um, we all have those days the drones have them too don't feel bad okay another thing to keep in mind your uh, your return to home settings your RTH You'll never realize how important these are until something bad goes wrong. Um, it's it's a horrible feeling to not know where your drone is. Uh, I wouldn't wish it on anybody. And a lot of that starts with uh, ensuring GPS lock, ensuring a fresh home point update before you fly away. Meaning you've you've powered on your drone, you've calibrated your compass, okay? You've checked your uh, you checked your EV values to see if you got the right ND filter on there, like we've said we talked about before, and you're you're ready to go. Mostly, ensuring the safety of your drone is, you know, making sure that you are aware of what that settings you have in your controller. Basically, your return to home settings pre-flight. Um, I fly in an area where I have trees uh, an easy 100 feet regularly, so I'm not going to set my return to home altitude to 65 feet and have this thing dodging trees on the way home that that would be a foolish thing to do i'm going to you know go ahead and set my return to home altitude something that correlates with the safety buffer for whatever objects i know i have in my area if if i know where i'm at and when i'm flying if i don't i take off straight up i give it a once around i see what's in my area i reference my height and i go ahead and set my return to home altitude accordingly to the obstacles in my area to give me at least a 50 feet buffer over them when this thing's flying itself home. I never set my um, automatic emergency return to home to hover. I feel like that is j just asking for a crash where it's gonna hover until it runs out of battery and dies. Um, you know, a little bit safer I would say is the automatic landing. Uh, I don't necessarily want my drone landing just anywhere. So I find Keep it simple, you know, the automatic return to home function if you have waited for a, a good GPS lock and you've ensured a fresh home point update before you take off, that you'll never have any problems with this thing flying itself home and landing it. Yeah, trust me, you do not want to be in that situation. So, with that being said, I always take a look at my return to home, my RTH section of my safety menu before I take off. I ensure that my auto return to home altitude is, like I said, sets accordingly to the obstacles in my area. And I, no matter what, before I take off, I wait for this thing to have a GPS lock. And I go in and I update my home point and I do it on top of it doing it for me. Let me say that again. I do it on top of it doing it for me. I've had this thing do an, uh, automatic home point update alert before i've taken off before beep 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 your home toilet is updated and then at a later date when all everything went bad and i pressed that button and went to get this thing back it went somewhere but it didn't go to the home point i thought it had taken off from i'm not sure where it went but that'll never happen to me again i ensure i ensure that I do a home point update before I take off and that this thing has a fresh dot underneath my feet before I get into whatever I'm gonna get into. Uh, it's basic stuff, you know, I, I can't afford to replace these if I break them or damage them, you know. 
So it's very important that I take care of it and that I keep it simple. I do a proper inspection before I take off. I make sure that my return to home altitude is set right. I calibrate my compass. I do maybe a monthly, maybe a weekly, depending on how much you travel, IMU calibration on the thing. You know, on occasion, I calibrate my controller. I check my, my connections, you know, my cables. I check my drone for fractures and cracks, you know, just basic maintenance to ensure that nothing bad happens.